and this is Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> so Ashley, my student. So I got her today to film a uh, lip blush vlog. What makes you want to do your lips, ah? Huh? Um, because my lips are very pale. I cannot live without lipstick. But every time I go out, I have to wear some dark color. Oh, some intense like lip intense color. Intense color, yeah. Okay, to make you look like more lively. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or else you look like <laughs> Okay, so let's zoom her face and see. Look at the camera, please. <laughs> so uh, she looks really, really pale without any lipstick now, as we can see. And she has very, very fair skin. Usually, what kind of the lipstick would you wear for daily? Um, usually, I would choose more reddish tone. Okay. Or, or sometimes even a bit of purple. Purplish. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's a cool tone color. Yes. <laughs> but only you can carry it because you know why? You have super cool tone skin. Okay, I'm so sorry <laughs> to cut you off. But then I kind of like a bit of a pinkish, Barbie pink kind of. Color. Okay. But when I buy the pink lipstick I wear, I feel like it's too unnatural. I see. Okay. So what kind of the finishing would you expect? Like, would you prefer to have on your lips after you got your lips tattoo? I prefer kind of like a watercolor kind of effect. Like, like, like kind blush. of finishing. Yeah. Like a lip tint kind of yes, effect. Yes, yes. Okay, that's a watercolor lip blush by Dini. No, I'm just kidding. You wish to have a more pinkish. Uh, heal result, right? Okay, so uh, match one color for you later. Let's talk about how the day will run. So for lip blush tattooing, right, we will start with consultation first. So later, I'll let you in and cleaning up your lips and we'll have a pre-drawing section just to make sure that we are tattooing the right shape for you and you get to see the shape before we start. If you approve the shape, then we follow the shape to do that. So for lip blushing, right, uh, usually it will last two to five years, depending on how you take care of it and your daily lifestyle. Of course, your skin type and your skin condition. I'll tell you how you can take care of your lips after the treatment. So uh, make sure you come back for six to eight weeks later, then for a retouch, then you'll be fine. You scared pain ah? Not really. I trust you. I trust you. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> so, from a client to a student to a model now, thank you so much. So, are you ready? Yes. Let's go. So, every time before I start the procedure, I will take some photo for record and as my artwork. Can you come a bit closer, please? Yeah. Okay. All of you okay so uh, what I like to do here is after every time I pre-drawing the client lips I will use my iPhone to take some picture and then I'll close up zoom to make sure that the shape is symmetry okay relax your lips you can take from a few angle but this is just for my own reference I'm not gonna post it on uh, social media so uh, you can see from the picture whether you got the symmetry shape from your pre-drawing. Okay, so I see one side is slightly a bit thicker. Then I'll go and correct it. Right, so I'm just uh, correcting both sides just to make both sides even before I show to uh, Ashley. So this is really, really important. Because as a professional artist, you must have your own judgement. For Ashley, right, her natural lips is already very nice. So I try not to change her natural lips too much Just to enhance a little bit Because she like something more like sexier Okay, so I feel like the shape is perfect already So I will show to Ashley So Ashley Okay or not? Nice or not? She has to say nice, okay <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so I think the shape is nice already and I get approved from Ashley. So now, let's start with the numbing cream. So uh, put on the numbing cream, a very thin layer and leave it on for about 10 minutes and we can straight start. Okay. 
Okay, so here let's prepare some of the tools that I'll be using today. In the meanwhile of these 10 minutes, actually this is your needle. It's new and one time use. So I like to open the needles in front of my customer to prove that this is the new one. So I'm using a solo machine today. Some of the artists they will ask me Zion S or solo is better. But for me, for lips work, I prefer to use solo machine because I find it can give me a better pixelating effect. And here I'm using the power supply. It's uh, by sensor, so it's really hygiene. So today I'll be using Speed 5.3. It's very important for artists to wrap their machine because I found some of the artists in Malaysia, they don't wrap their machine for hygiene and to prevent the cross contamination, you have to do this. So make sure you adjust the length you want before you cover your machine. Ta-da! So the color choices here for today, I'll be using Mara colors. Uh, I use three colors mixture. I use um, lollipop, ginger, and raspberry for Ashley because she loved the result of this mixture. Yeah, let's start. Okay, so since you have a chest here, <laughs> let me put my plate here lah, okay, please lah, okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, speed 5.3 and I adjust the length I want. Okay, so let's start. Okay, actually, if in between the procedure, if you started to feel pain or sensitive, please let me know. Then I can apply the secondary numb. Uh, let's start with lock the shape first. So I'll start with the outline. How do you feel? Okay. Mm. Mm, okay. Usually a few steps, then I will wipe and check the penetration of the pigment. Okay, so this is the outline after the first pass before we color the whole lips. So I'm just gonna go over once and put on the secondary numb for her just to make her feel more comfortable Okay, so we pretty much done the process now and before I take some picture as my artwork so I'll put some lip gloss to make her lips look more healthy so here I'm using this AD vitamin lip ointment So this is the day 4 result. The reason why we suddenly came to day 4 is because something went wrong with the mic on the right after result, uh, the day we recorded. But uh, never mind. Uh, since Ashley is here, we are so lucky to have Ashley today. Uh, so this is her day 4 result. I will ask Ashley some of the questions. The day I asked her, okay. so I asked her again. <laughs> so Ashley, so for the pain scale 1 to 10, how would you rate? I would rate it 5 out of 10. <laughs> it's very painful but it's still bearable. Okay, it's totally bearable right? Okay. So is this what you expected the result? Uh, it's a bit lighter than right after the treatment. Okay. And you mean the heal result now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is completely result. normal. That is why we need a retouch uh, yeah. within six months time, just to make the color last even longer and make the color look more intense. But overall, I, st I really like the color. I can still see some of the peeling here on the bottom of her lips. And uh, very important news to all of you, if you take care of your lips well, then you'll be fine for this uh, one week time. And usually the healing process, it takes about three to five days. And 
and this is a day four result and the pitting is really I would say it's very minimal the downtime right yeah. all right so Ashley can you share a little bit more about your healing process uh? what happened to your lips day two it got a bit more swollen than day one and the color was a bit more vibrant it, but it was still okay like, I can still eat like normal mm. everything's fine mm. and then day three the color start to like come down a bit mm. and the peeling they started to peel so this is the process day one the lips will look really perfect and the color looks very very vibrant day two it start to swell a little but day three the lip will start to dissolve so this mm. is the process and the lip peeling process right it only take you about two or three days so this is like very fast super yeah. super fast they are not even a week uh what did you have for these three days <laughs> <laughs> so you can only eat live food, you know. You yeah, cannot I... eat like samba, balatana, seafood, all that cannot ah. Uh. Fatty crab cannot ah. Uh. So what did you have? I already tried to avoid soupy food. I tried to avoid spicy food. It's so difficult to avoid. <laughs> I know steam good, right? I... So pity. Oh my god. I ate fried rice ah. Uh. Like oh, fried rice. Yeah. Oh, and some bread. Those yeah. dry food and light food lah. Yeah. Oh so pity. <laughs> so three day fasting lah. It's okay. Then it's slim very fast. Oh my god, she already very slim. Christian dear. Okay, so how you can take care of your lips for this uh, healing process is the first three day take care of your lips, keep it clean and fresh after every meal before you apply your lip ointment, and uh, one week time to avoid the sweat activities and not to go for any kind of facial. Just keep your lips clean and dry and fresh that's it this is all about it i hope you like this video the reason why i will not film her close-up video is because now it's looking a bit awful <laughs> it's a little bit peeling we will take a few results to share on our instagram and facebook soon so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>